If you're feeling a little down this week, you are not alone. Daylight saving time ended early Sunday morning, meaning an earlier sunset on top of the days getting shorter with the arrival of winter. WRTV's Nico Panisi is live in downtown Indianapolis with what you can do to fight back against this. Nico. Mark, it's not uncommon to feel those winter blues right now, now that the sun is starting to set at around 5.30 p.m. Well, for some, a mental health condition can have potentially dangerous consequences. I go out 7 a.m. It's dark. I go inside. It's dark. Fall and winter months are hard for Danielle Del Rio. It's affecting so bad because I work a lot of hours. And at the end of the day, I get out for like five. The 20 year old says the shorter days and lack of sunlight make her tired and unmotivated. The last thing I want to do is go home and put my pajamas on yeah. and pretend to sleep. I don't know. It's weird. That's not the case for mom Anise Hollis, who says the end of daylight saving time boosts her productivity. Because if I get up earlier, um, for me, the time chain when it goes back, it helps me get up a little earlier. And then I can get things done. She owns Studio 1111. Before heading to her shop, she does laundry, gets her kids ready for school, and grabs a cup of coffee. Being a business owner, it's just like, okay, that means I could, like, if it is getting dark earlier, I can end my night a little earlier and I can just rest. Regardless of your feelings, psychiatric nurse practitioner Laura Hawkins says it can affect your mood. Moods are something you choose they happen. About 5% of adults in the U.S. experience seasonal affective disorder or SAD. The National Institute of Mental Health calls SAD a type of depression lasting four to five months out of the year, starting as the seasons change in the fall. If you're in a room of 20 people, chances are one of them may have some being affected by some seasonal depression. Here are some early warning signs of SAD. Tiredness, irritability, trouble sleeping, negative thoughts and feelings, guilt, body aches and pains. Easy to want to cocoon after, you know, in the winter, but but just kind of pushing yourself out to have your have connections, meaningful connections with people that can really help. Some other things that may help are taking vitamin D and B12 supplements, using a light box, eating a clean diet, exercise, and optimizing your time in the sunlight. If your negative thoughts or feelings get worse and you start to contemplate suicide, a good number to keep in mind is 988. You can call or text that number. Good resource to keep in mind in an emergency situation. Reporting live in downtown Indianapolis this morning, Nico Panisi, WRTV.